All right, this is Oakley, an eight-month-old Australian Shepherd, and we're just going to work on our basic vocabulary. Up, up. Wait. Easy. Very nice. Up, up. Easy. Very nice. Wait. Easy. Now you'll notice that there's quite a bit of frost on the exercise with small challenges equipment and that creates a certain amount of trouble when you're working a dog but uh, don't let it get you down you know because when the environment changes uh, that just gives you more chances to uh, do environmental socialization and guarantee future success uh, as the seasons change throughout the dog's life. One of the big mistakes people make with uh, young dogs is if it's cold or rainy or snowy or icy and they don't want to get outside and do their work. And then, like you take a trip with your dog later on in life, maybe you go up north, maybe you go to a national park, maybe you go to a beach, and the environment's different, and the dog is only used to taking walks on nice, sunny, 80 degree days. Well, of course, the dog is going to struggle and fail. Environmental socialization is it's super important. Uh, and not only is it super important from a point of view of like, uh, you know, preparing the dog to be able to do things later in life with, uh, you know, seamlessly, you also have to realize that, you know, dogs, uh, a large part of being a good dog trainer is learning how to regulate a dog's energy level. Come on. And so if you're the kind of person that only goes out when the weather's nice and only does your exercise with small challenges when the weather's nice, then what you end up with is a dog that's not getting to expend the proper amount of energy every day. The dog's energy regulation stay is based on your perception of whether or not the weather's nice. And so what ends up happening is you have dogs that mind well on the weeks where the weather's nice and the temperature's mild, and uh, dogs that don't mind well when uh, the weather's not nice and the temperature's either really hot or really cold. So basically, you got to get out and put the work in, regardless of what the weather conditions are, are uh, and not just from a training standpoint, but from an energy regulation point if you want to be successful.